engage in self-reflection often especially within the societies we are in today. We can become disconnected from reality due to the constant online culture where we think we know so much about others. We comment, mock, judge etc. Learn to look at our own shortcomings first. Forgiveness for one's sins is not automatic. It is something that must be sought for, with sincerity and true devotion. Becoming indifferent to one's sins is fatally dangerous. Not only will it accumulate, hearts will harden in the process and you're making a mockery of repentance. Success isn't defined by achievements or how many material possessions one has, but rather how we use what the Almighty has bestowed on us to live a life of purpose. Serving others and spreading goodness. Whatever you do, keep it low-key and humble. Success isn't loud and boisterous. Always lift the people around you and help them thrive. Empower them. Look for the good in others and let it shine. There's too much negativity around. People are always looking for ways to bring others down and tear them up. Don't. It will come back to you some way, someday. There's no need to hide if you've made a mistake. Be mature enough to tell the truth. Don't put the blame on anyone or anything else. Assume responsibility. Take ownership of the mistake, admit to it, apologize for it. Fix it and not repeat it. That's the only way to grow. The sad reality is people can attack you physically, verbally or any other way for no apparent reason. Perhaps they don't like the way you look, how you dress, the company you keep, etc. But senseless acts are on the rise. Such is the way of the world today. Stay woke. We all know how precious time is yet we choose to engage in unproductive activities. Gossiping, backbiting, futile conversations, things which don't concern us and the list goes on. Stop allocating time to such useless activities. See how much more time you'll have each day. Almighty. Give us the strength to respond with goodness when we're not being treated the way we should be. Help us to be guided by what you've taught us and not by our emotions when dealing with difficult people. May we always be steered to make the right choice in such situations. Trust the Almighty to give you the best outcome to your problem. Our limited wisdom doesn't allow us to see certain things. You can see the future and beyond. So when things don't turn out the way you expect. Trust Him to have always considered your best interest. That's faith. When you're able to accept everything that happens to you as part of the Almighty's plan. You're on the road to something greater. You feel a sense of ease. Remember, one day, all the pieces of the puzzle will fit and you'll be so pleased that you were patient right till the end.